250. So the outcome, so 1 to 5 minus 500 over 3 plus by 250. So it's equal to 208, hold on, 1 to 5 minus 500 over, 1 to 5 minus 500 over 3 plus by 250. So I get uh, 208, point three 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 so at point d to two zero eight so positive two zero eight point three 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 okay let me let me do it again okay so one two five minus by five hundred over three plus by two fifty yep two zero eight Point three three three, and then I'm going to look for the last point. All right, I'm going to look for the last point. So stress X. I know that this is not required, okay? But I'm just going to find stress X at point B. Right. So the P over A is still one to five. Moment about Y. Now we are focusing at point B. Now, now we are looking at point B now. So M moment about Y is going to be giving me compression minus five hundred over three. And then moment about Z is also going to give me compression at point B. So this will be equal to minus 250. So finally, this will be equal to minus uh, 291.667. So these are the points they have there. So the next part of the questions one us to so the part B, we're going to find, right? The part B, we're going to find the position where the new track is. All right, the new tracks is intersects uh, line A B D. Okay, line A B D. So I'm going to drop the cross section with the associate stresses now. Okay, with the associate stresses. So again, I'm going to label this is our point A. We have a point B. This is our point B, and then this is our point D. Then we have our transformation X, sorry, Y, Z, and then we have our rotation about X. Okay, we have our rotation about X. So we, we know that we've discovered that our stress X at point A, right? So this will be equal to, I'm trying to figure out what's the number now, 41.67. And it's positive, right? Positive means it's, it's under the tensile regime. Then you have stress X at point B. So this will be equal to minus 291.667. And lastly, stress X at point D. So this will be equal to positive 208.33. I think 208.333. PSI. Right. So point A, what we can see over here, point A is positive, point B is negative, point D is positive again, okay? So you have point A that's tensile, point B compression, point D tensile. Can anyone tell me, uh, will the neutral axis intersect point between point A, B, yes or no? Anyone? Will we have an intersection where the neutral yes. axis Yes, well done. Okay, so you have we know that in the new on the new axis, we are aware that on the new axis, we 
we are aware that stress in the x direction is equal to zero and the answer is yes because you have tensile going to compression between a and b at one stage it has to pass through what it's to pass through zero right and then between b and d again we realize that it will have to pass through the uh, uh, uh zero again between b d so to find this out so we are going to find the position of the uh uh neutral axis so i'm going to draw this out okay so you can just sketch it up, sketch this out between point a and point b so we're going to find between a and b point a and point b okay so this is your point a and this is your point B. And then at point A is 41.667. So you just draw a straight line. So this is my 41 positive 41.667. And then you have another at point B is going down to what? 291.667. So this is again, this is just a sketch. Right. So this is your uh, 21 minus 291.667 and then you draw another straight line across right and we what we want to identify is we want to identify this distance x and this distance from here to here right that distance over there right that distance over there This distance over here is equal to four minus x. Okay, so that that is our so to to identify what is your position of x, what you could do is we know that we 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 know that delta y change in y over change in x because why I do this because this is a this is a equation of a straight line. right so we have constant gradient right so the change in y is equal to 41.667 divided by x and then the the, the 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 other side i can let it be equal to 41.667 plus by 291.667 and then divide by 4 right so x over this case will be equal to so 41.667 plus by 291.6 so 41.667 times by 4 divide by 41.667 plus by 291.667 is equal to 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.5 inch we know x is from where from point a right so likewise you can do the same okay so this is for point a then you can find between between points b and d right so b and d this is our point b our point b and our point D, and we are aware that between our point B and D, so point B is compression uh, 291.667. Right, so this is my minus 291.667, and then the other point at point D, so point D is 208. So tensile, right? So two zero eight positive point three 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 psi, and then you can find the intersect. All right. So I'm going to find 
I'm going to find from point. So this is my point X. Right, I'm going to find my, from my point D. So again, they are on the same slope. So the change in Y, so delta Y over delta X, right? So the delta Y is X divided by uh, 208.333. And this will be equal to 1.8 because the depth is 1.8. divide by 208.333 and the change is 291.667 right so therefore x will be equal to uh, 1.8 times by 208.333 divided by 208.333 plus by 291.667 so it's equal to 0 0.75 inches Okay, so 0 0.75 inches will be from where? From point D. Okay, from point D. So if you go sketch the position of the neutral axis now. All right, so if this is our cross section, I do apologize. If this is our cross section, okay, so this is our point. This is a point A. There'll be a point B. And this is our point D. If we sketch this out, so our neutral axis will intersect here. And the other one will intersect somewhere around here, there. So this is the position of our neutral axis. Yeah, green means neutral, okay. <laughs> So what we have down here, so we know anything above the neutral axis, any region over here. So this is our neutral axis, All right? Anything above there, it will come into a uh, compression mode. And anything that is on, on the other end, on the other side, Yes, wait, I must be, my colors are really off today. I can't seem to identify the difference between uh, red and blue today. Anything over this side will be under tensile. Right, any questions so far based on this example? Anyone, please. No? Okay, so in, in summary on this problem, the most critical part was where a lot of us make mistakes, okay, based on, on the stages that we're, the most critical part that we tend to make mistake is number one, you need to identify your perpendicular distance over here, right? Like, like when you look at, like when you look at uh, MY over here, what is your perpendicular distance? If you are looking for MZ, what is your perpendicular distance? Then the next point where we have we make, like unconsciously make similar mistake is to find IYYIZZ, what is your depth and what is your width? And then from here, uh, again, critical to identify your Z distance and quicker to identify what is your y distance. So very simple formula, a lot of play, uh, areas that you could make mistake and those are the areas. Right, I'm going to do another example, not fully, but I want I want you all to, to think about this problem now. Okay, I want you all to look at this problem now. Okay, so this is example number two. So we're going to look at example number two. Right, so you can see example number two down here. We have a horizontal load P. 
applying at 100 kilonewton is applied to the beam. Determine the largest distance A for which the maximum tensile stress in the beam does not exceed 75 megapascal. Okay. The question I want to ask is this. Uh, 